Rachel, morning to you at home too. Yeah, a really cold, crisp start to the day, particularly in the north and the east. Things are turning a little bit milder from the west, though, so we've got double figures for some of us in the west, but certainly not everywhere. We've also had clear skies that have shown this beautiful display of the aurora borealis last night. If you were lucky enough to catch that across parts of Scotland, northeast England, where we did keep the clear skies overnight, for most of us, there's been a bit more cloud that's been working its way in. And through the course of the day after that cold, crisp start for many of us. It is going to be clouding over from the west and there'll be some rain arriving, moving its way gradually eastwards. So most of us seeing a little bit of wet weather at times today. Much of Scotland, they should uh, avoid uh, the outbreaks of rain. So we've got this area of low pressure that's moving its way in. You can see on the satellite image this clump of cloud. That low pressure will just gradually east eastwards. Um, it's got quite a weak weather front, so it's going to produce some fairly patchy outbreaks of rain. This morning, they'll be pushing across Northern Ireland, Wales, the southwest of England, too. Quite a lot of high clouds, cirrus clouds spilling across the rest of England, Wales, southern Scotland as well. The northern and eastern Scotland will keep the sunshine, but up towards the Northern Isles, a cold northerly breeze developing with a few showers and quite a contrast in temperature out there today. Across parts of Scotland, we're looking at highs between about four to perhaps six degrees, but we'll just about edge into double figures for Belfast perhaps 13 down towards Plymouth as well. So a range in temperature, the mildest weather moving in towards the west, but staying cold all day in the east. Now, through this evening and tonight, we've still got that frontal system. So it'll spread some outbreaks of rain across England, Wales, Northern Ireland, but then it'll clear away, gradually easing away from Northern Ireland by the end of the night. A cold night again in the north. So Scotland, we're likely to see a frost, but not as cold as it was last night, though, for the bulk of the UK. Still a chilly feel to the weather for Monday morning. Quite breezy as well on Monday. We've got some rain across central parts of England and Wales. That'll slip slowly southwards through the day. And then to the north, a return to more sunshine, but some scattered heavy showers. Showers coming in for parts of Scotland, North East England as well. Perhaps a little bit of a wintry flavour over the highest ground. So quite breezy as well in the north and the east. Temperatures here around about seven degrees or so. Further south, we'll get into double figures, I think, on Monday just about. But it will feel quite chilly where you've got the showers, the fairly brisk winds towards the east as well. Heading on into Tuesday, then it looks a little bit quieter. We've got higher pressure trying to build in, low pressure clearing off. That'll leave us with a northerly flow of air. So it'll bring a few showers to parts of northeast Scotland, perhaps around the northeast coast of England as well. And over the highest ground, there could be a little bit of sleet and snow. But for most of us, Tuesday looking like a dry day with some sunshine after a cold, frosty start. Temperatures again on the cool side around about four to nine degrees. And then we've got the cold rare, the blue colours sticking with us really through the second half of the week as well. Then winds often coming in from quite a northerly direction. So a bit of a mixed outlook over the next week or so, but temperatures are going to be remaining certainly below average for the time of year. Roger and Rachel.